we just made this DIY upholstered farmhouse bench with two 2x4s, a 2x3, a project board, some foam, and some fabric. And we'll show you how we did it <laughs> right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we do it every Friday. This week, we're making a bench for your behind. A little stump for your rump. A helm for your hiney. A chair for your derriere. A chair for your derriere. Good one. <laughs> this week's project is functional for us. Now that we're staying home a lot, we're doing a lot of game nights, sitting at our family room at our sofa. But the person on the other side of the coffee table has to sit on the floor and we flip a coin. Well, really, we just make one of the kids flip a coin yeah. because they're the ones that are going to sit on the other side. So. I started to look for a solution and I found this cute little bench that I think would be perfect to sit on the other side of the coffee table and then we'll have to sit on the floor. And of course, I said we could totally build that. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> cutting a little wood, cutting a little foam, cutting a little bit of fabric. Yes, because it's going to be upholstered. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm looking forward to upholstering the top. I mean, a basic upholstery job. I'm not <laughs> adding the, what are the, the buttons, rivets? Yeah. Those little buttons, no yeah. buttons, no, Button. no fancy piping, no ruffles. Yeah. It's just <laughs> This is a like basic beginner bench. bench. <laughs> yeah. Basic beginner bench. <laughs> Step one. We're going to gather all of our supplies. For this, we just needed two two by fours, a two by three. That's the base. A project board, it's like 16 by 44, 48. We'll trim it down. Some fabric, some foam, and some cotton batting. Yes. And we're modifying some plans from her tool belt. So I'll put those down below so you'll know the exact measurements. You'll know how much fabric. Oh, actually, we're just that's stealing the, the base idea. Yeah, we're just yeah. stealing her base <laughs> idea. We're taking her legs and base. And then we're adding a new top to it, an a fluffy top. An upholstered top. So I have about two yards of fabric here. I'm not sure how much fabric I'll use. Once I figure that out, I'll also add that down below with the plans. Step two. Now we're going to make all of our cuts. Well, just the wood cuts for the base. We'll be back for the foam in the top. But we should make all of our cuts with my pocket saw. <laughs> Love this thing. I still love this thing. We go everywhere together. First, we're going to cut our legs out of the 2x4. We're going to set the stop block up at 17 inches. Then we're going to set the saw at 10 degrees. And we're just going to cut four of those. Next, we're going to cut the little X pieces that go in the middle. Those are 2x3s. We're going to set the stop block up at 15 and 5 eighths. Then we're going to set the saw at 45 and we're going to make four of those cuts. We're going to set up a little stop block for nine inches. These are for our little spacers. This is still two by three. We're going to cut four of those. And then finally we need the two by four. We're going to cut a 35 and five eighths and a 29 inch. Step three. Oh, now we're going to stain. Oh, you thought we were going to put it together first. But no, we're going to stain all the pieces first because it's hard to get in those nooks and crannies and then wipe it back out of the corner. So we're going to stain it and then we'll put it together and paint it. Yeah, so I'm going to do a paint job on top of the stain because the one we saw online was really distressed looking and I loved it. So I want to replicate that same look. So we're going to stain it with this nice Kona, which is a real dark brown, which will look great underneath the white paint as I uh, distress it. Distress it. Skip some pieces. Flake it off. First we stain. Step four. Now we're going to assemble it. We're going to take these little 2x3s, these 9 inch pieces, and put them on the ends of the 29 inch piece and the 35 inch piece. We're going to use the pocket holes, remember those? And we're using a 2.5 inch pocket hole screw. 
I'm going to shim mine so that it uh, lines up a little better. I did two of them. Looks good. Now we're going to use those 2x4s that we have the 10 degree cut in. We're going to use those as legs, but first we need to put some pilot holes in them. So we measured where the center is, kind of line them up. I'm going to give them a pilot hole. Got our counter sinks in there with the little pilot hole. Now we're going to attach the legs with these three inch screws. Now we're going to take those little two by threes that we put the 45 degree in. And we're going to glue and tack them to the center brace, the top of the center brace. Remember, it's upside down right now. We're going to use a one and a quarter inch brad. Yeah. The nail, not the guy. Alright, that's just to hold them, temporarily hold them. Now we're going to attach the bottom. We're going to slide it in, line it up, and then we'll glue the feet, glue these X's, and set it in place. Now I'm going to add a pilot hole with a countersink where we're going to attach all the legs to the bottom. Step five. Uh, now we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it white. We're going to paint it Bears Chalk Paint in Pale Moon. Pale Moon. <laughs> we're going to paint it like we're going to distress it because we are. Yes. So I'm going to try to go light on the edges when I'm painting it. Step six. We start assembling the top. I'm going to take this project board down and shave off four inches. All right, now we're just going to put the project board on the foam and trace it. All right, here, flip it. We're going to do the other side too. That way it doesn't get all crazy. Okay, let's see. All right, now go get your mom's bread knife because that's how we're going to cut this. We're going to use Kim's expensive new bread knife. <laughs> let's see, let's hope it works. Yeah, oh, butter. like butter. Oh, like butter. All right, let's see how bad I did. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, oh, got a little crazy in the middle. Angle. All right, let's see which side is thicker. This is the thin one. All right, so we should flip it. Flip it. Oh, oh, she's gonna set it on top, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, that works. So now we're gonna put some spray adhesive onto the board, and then add the foam on top of the spray adhesive. Allow it to dry to tack approximately one minute. All right, you gotta work fast. Work it fast. All right, I'm going in. Okay. White cotton batting. I hope it's big enough. Oh yeah, it's big enough. It's good. Yeah. All right. So the next step is to 
spray the adhesive onto the foam and we're going to add, stick this cotton batting right on top of the foam. So, you ready? Yeah. How about I spray it on here and then I pick it up and move it and you place that on here and then place it back down. Sure. Alright, now we're just going to staple down the batting real close to the edge. Okay, so I think I'm just going to, I haven't upholstered before, so I'm just going to spray, tuck these little sides in. It's not that much. I'm just going to spray and tack it in there. All right, I'm just going to spray the edges so it'll hold the fabric while we, while we pin it down. What? They can read what I'm saying. Read my <laughs> lips. I waited till I put the mask on to explain it. Yep. What we've learned is that the corners here are the hardest part. I've watched about five or six different videos on how to tuck these corners. Nothing seems right. None of the, none of the tips that I've read I can pull off here. It doesn't seem quite right. I know I have too much fabric up here. I know this needs to be trimmed back. Um, but I still can't quite get the corners right. So my plan is to tuck and put a little pleat in the corner to give it that more finished look rather than a gathered corner. Last step, we attach the bottom to the top. We're going to drill some more pilot holes with a little countersink action. And we're going to come in with a two inch nail and get to the top. Two inch screw. All right, you ready to flip it? Yes. Okay. All right, not too bad looking. Yeah. Yeah. Let's distress that a little bit. Let's do it. What'd you think? It's a little tall. And I really can't hear myself talk because the cushion is right in my face. <laughs> yes, it's dampening the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys put a hard top on it? We went with a soft top because it's going to go in our bedroom, I think. Well, I said it was going to go in the family room for the game chair. Oh, that's right. Family yeah. Game chair. That's yes. Right. I also had considered putting it in the bedroom to hold the clean laundry that I can't fold on time before the next load comes around, but I don't want to, what's the word, perpetuate that bad ha habit. Yeah. So we're going to put it in the family room so we can have a game room, game night chair. <laughs> oh, it's time to go. We got to head out, but we'll join you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. <laughs>